Okay, here's practice 10.5. So this works a lot like it does for inscribed angles. This isn't exactly an inscribed angle because it's not inside the triangle, but it still has its vertex on the triangle itself. Okay, so we're asked for the um, for the measure of arc AB, and I think they put the C here because they want uh, it, they're not calling this ACB, right? So they're looking for I think. What they mean is the measure of this arc is the one that we're looking for, okay? So if I double the angle, I'm going to get the measure of the intercepted arc. So I can say 2 times 101 degrees is going to equal x, so that would be 202 degrees. So that's the measure of my arc, okay? Looking on this next one, F8, <coughs> excuse me. FH, so they didn't put the G in, so FH is going to be this arc. Okay, now I don't have the measure of the angle that intercepts that arc, but I can find it really quickly because I've got a linear pair there. Okay, so I'm just first have to do a little calculation. Um, this angle in here is going to be 180 minus 129. So that's going to be. Um, 51 degrees, right? Okay, so if this angle is 51 degrees, I can say 2 times 51 degrees would equal x. That is 100 and, well, that it equals x, so let's do that. So x is going to equal 102 degrees, and that is the measure of my arc there. Okay, next one. Um, I, um, I'm supposed to find the measure of this angle. So first, I'm going to find the measure of the arc that it intercepts. So I'm just thinking this is going to be the whole circle with the 248 part cut out. So I got 360 minus 248. That gives me 112. OK, so now I can say if I double angle 1, um, it should equal 2 times the measure of angle 1 is going to equal 112 degrees. Then I just divide by 2, and I'm going to get 66 degrees. And that's my answer here. Okay. All right, moving on to the next set of problems. So this next, there's a little bit of a trick to this one. So I've got two um, chords that meet inside a, uh, a circle, intersect inside a circle. And um, there's a formula I can use to find um, this angle or this one. So I'm going to call this Y. Okay, and now, you know, vertical angles, I'm not asked, they're not, they're asking for X. But if I find Y, then I can get X because I've got a linear pair, right? So, um, Let's see. And you know, this would also be y by a vertical angle, so it doesn't matter which one I use. All right, so um, y is going to be the average of the two arcs that are intercepted by those, um, by those lines that are intersecting each other. So it's going to be the average. y is going to be the average of 53 and 41. Same my screen there. OK, so. To find the average of 53 and 41, I'd add them together and then divide by 2. There's the average of those two, right? So 53 plus 41 gives me 94. And divide by 2, and I've got 47. On screen again. Okay, so that's what y is. 47 degrees. But now I can say, oh, we got 180 right there. So um, I can do 180 minus x would equal, um, sorry, 180 plus, what am I doing? x plus y would equal 180. So x plus 47 would equal 180. I think I was just thinking 180 minus 47 is going to equal x. Yeah, I'm going to subtract 47 from both sides, so 130. And it says x degrees, so I actually put, shouldn't put the degree symbol in there. x is going to equal 133. Okay? 
When I have two tangent lines that meet outside of the circle, I get this kind of a situation, okay? And there's a relationship between this arc and this one. So the two arcs that are separated by the points of tangency, okay? So um, I really need to come up with a name for the blue one. And I can do that because this arc, it's gonna be the whole circle except for the 138 piece. So I can do 360 minus 138. And that gives me 222. So this arc is 222 degrees then in here, okay? Now that I got that set up, what I do, the angle is gonna be, instead of averaging like you do when you have chords that meet inside a circle, it's kind of similar. Um, except instead of adding like I do to average, I'm going to actually subtract. So the angle is going to be, well, here's my little formula. The angle is equal to one half of the big arc minus the small arc. And then a space, so I've got to write it, abbreviate a little bit. Okay. Now, here it's easy to tell that the bigger one is the 222, but the bigger one's always going to be further away because the, the, uh, the, the angle will be more opened up by the time you get to the outside. So my angle is x. My big arc is going to be 222. My small arc is 138. Okay, so then I'll just do the subtraction in there. It's 84. So I've got half of 84, which would be 42. Okay. All right, and it works the same actually when you've got, um, that was with tangents, but it works the same with secants that meet outside of. Um, so I'm g still gonna do, my angle is gonna equal one half of the big arc, big arc minus the small arc. If you accidentally do small minus big, you'll end up with a negative number and that's how you'll know. You'd, you went the wrong way with that. But a lot of people will accidentally add those two together. You only want to do that when you've got chords meeting inside. Okay, so um, my big arc is 111. My small arc, I'm only interested in the arcs that this is intercepting. The small arc is right here. I don't have a name for that, so I'm gonna to have to do a little side problem. Okay, so maybe here, maybe I'll put this in red. So that red arc, I can think, well, I've got all the other pieces of the circle. So if, if I take um, arc QP, that's what that missing piece is, plus all the other pieces, those are all are going to add up to 360 degrees. Okay. So QP arc QP plus 319 degrees is going to equal 360 and then I'll subtract 319 from both sides that's going to be um, 41 degrees so this piece then is 41 degrees now I have everything I need for the formula so my angle which is X is going to equal half of the big arc which is 111 minus the small arc, which is 41. So I'll do that subtraction first. I've got half of 70, which is 35. And I'm off screen as usual. Okay, there I'm back on. Okay. Same kind of deal here. I've got my big arc and my small one is right here. So I've got to do a little side calculation to find that blue one. So I'll call that arc DF right there. So I can say arc DF plus the other two arcs is gonna make up the whole circle. DF plus 293 degrees 
equals 360 degrees. And then I'll do 360 minus 293. And that gives me 67 degrees. Separate this from that other problem. Okay, so that that was this piece right here, 67 degrees. Now I can do my angle, which is x, is going to equal one half of the big arc, the big intercepted arc, minus the small one. Okay, I'll do the subtraction first. 52 degrees, and half of 52 going to be um, 26. And there we go. That is the end of the practice. Right, see you next time.